Anna Johnson. Deputy Speaker. Uh, yesterday, the chair of the um, inquiry that's been set up into infected blood, Sir Brian Langstaff, <coughs> excuse me, published a letter to the Cabinet Office in which he calls for decisive action over the financial support available to those infected and those affected. As the inquiry is likely to take several years before it reaches its conclusions, and people at the moment do not have financial security, and there are different levels of support in the different nations of the United Kingdom. So I wondered whether we might have a statement from the Cabinet Office in response to Sir Brian Langstaff's letter. Well, can I first tra pay tribute to the Honourable Lady because she has been tireless in looking into this issue and raising it in this place and having had constituents myself who have suffered from this appalling contaminated blood problem, she's absolutely right to raise it. If she wants to write to me, I can take it up directly with the Cabinet Office on her behalf. 